This is lesson 81. We uh, have already talked about adding and subtracting sign numbers. How do you subtract sign numbers? You don't. You don't. You change it to addition and you change the next sign. We call that chicken scratching. Well, I call that chicken scratching. You can call it whatever you want. So let's, uh, let's go back a few years and let's try to explain. Explain to me what multiplication is. Oh, okay. So for example, it's fast adding. Yeah. What, so two times three, what does that mean? Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. three plus three, or it could mean three twos, but let's leave it like this. Two, two times three, three, right? So if I do this, if I do two times negative three, then that's just two negative threes added, right? What? what happens when you add two negative threes? It joins forces and become negative. Yes, good. It joins forces. They join forces and become negative. Okay, well, what about this? Well, if I do this, so this time we're, we're adding three negative two times. What does it mean to add a negative amount of times? Um, subtract. Subtract. So we're going to subtract three, subtract three. Everybody okay with that? Sure. But you have to chicken scratch. Yep. So I'm going to chicken scratch. I'm going to go um, chicken scratch. I'm going to go bok, 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 bok. So what does that end up being? Same thing. Negative three plus negative three is negative six. Okay. Now this is the one where it kind of stumps people, but not you. Because watch this. So if I... So if I go... Negative two okay. times negative three. So if this was a positive two, then it would look like just like that. I'm adding negative three two times, right? Yeah. So what? Ha how do I add negative three negative two times? Oh. Chicken scratch. So we're going to subtract negative three. What? We're going to subtract negative three two times. Negative minus negative three minus negative three. Okay, would that be so? This is kind of like this. So instead of adding negative three two times, we're gonna subtract negative three two times, or we're gonna add it negative two times. So what does this end up being? Regular, yeah. Look, plus positive, plus positive. What's three plus three? No, it missed five. You're so smart. Six. Okay, I know. So when you multiply two negatives together, this is what's weird. Two negatives make a positive. Okay. Only when you multiply, but because when you add two negatives, what happens when you add two negatives? You add two negatives. They yeah, become you more, they, you add them all together, right? But when you positive. multiply two negatives, it becomes positive. That's weird. Yes. Right. But two wrongs don't make a right. You're right, but three lefts do. You know that? Did we already talk about that? What? Three lefts make a right. Watch this. Left. 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 Yo, that's kind of funny. Funny. Or three rights do make a left. So, Xavier, in math, it's kind of like two wrongs make a right in this case. Yep. When you're multiplying two negatives, it becomes a positive. I shun all math. Okay. Good. Why don't you uh, negate that and turn back around? Do that, but like with a mirror. Just, just. You can turn around. Just do it backwards. What? Do it. <laughs> All right. So I just turned around backwards, right? Yeah, there you go. You're in backwards around. Yeah, guys, I'm turned around right so now. This is a weird classroom. Right I'm currently not facing toward Mr. Black. So it's all it's all relative yeah, to negative signs. This is the right in your apple. No, I just understood what you meant. Okay, okay. guys. So now let's go the opposite direction. So remember, you can you can uh, go opposite direction in a multiplication problem. That's just a division problem, right? So what does this say? This says that six divided by negative three equals negative two, right? If I go backwards, let's go backwards here. Negative six 
divided by three is negative two. You see what I'm doing? I'm just going backwards here. Negative six divided by negative three. Wow. You'll see, you'll see, is positive two. And then of course, six divided by three is two. So here's how, what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna summarize the rules for multiplying positive and negative numbers. Okay, sure. Okay, this is something you should write down unless you can memorize it right now. Yeah, I can memorize it. Hey, when you multiply, the same, the same thing times the same thing. When you multiply a positive times a positive, what do you get? Negative. Okay. Positive. No, you get positive. What if you multiply a negative times a negative? You get a positive. positive. You get a positive. So here's the same. Here's the deal. These are rules for multiplying and dividing. Same sign. Your answer is always going to be positive. What? So positive times a positive. Okay. So positive times a positive or a negative times a negative, those will always equal a positive. Okay? If it's the same sign, you're going to get a positive. It doesn't matter which one's bigger or anything like that. What happens if you have the, the, a different sign? Look at this. A negative times a positive is a negative or a positive times a negative is a negative. So what happens? You have different signs, what's your answer gonna be? Negative. Negative, always negative. Whoa. So it doesn't matter which one's bigger or which one's smaller like it does when you add positive and negatives. Remember when you add positive and negatives together, it's whatever you have more of, right? Whoever's gonna win in a fight. Emerson, don't do that, okay? So, for example, positive times negative is a negative. Also, a negative times a positive is a negative. Now, look at this, guys. The same thing works for division. Look, positive divided by a positive is a positive. Negative divided by a negative, same sign, is a positive. No way. Negative divided by a positive is a negative, positive divided by a negative. So different signs, negative answer. Same sign, positive answer. Mr. Flack. Yes. Did we really have to spend 30 minutes of my life talking about this? Yes, yes, yes we did. It's been like 10, five. Past the hour. Um, so P, that's kind of a... <laughs> All right, so this is what you need to know and remember. When you're doing this, these problems, you need to know and remember this. Now, if you do this on a calculator, I think you'll be fine. And you can use a calculator. Do not use the subtraction sign as a negative sign. There's an actual button that's a negative sign. Okay, so if you use that button on this calculator, that, that sign is right here, right down there. So, for example, if I wanted to go negative 2, I would go negative, negative 2 times negative two equals positive four. Wow, okay. <laughs> All right. Questions on this? No. Do we need to do any more on this? Yeah, we need a few problems that question. Yeah, that do we need to waste problem. more time? Yes. <laughs> no. Waste as much time as possible. Okay. No, waste all of our time. What? How many problems that's three? Okay. Uh, let's do, let's do this. Here's, I'm going to skip all the way to example three. And I want you to multiply this together. Wait a minute. Does that mean we all get breaks? No way. What's the answer going to be? Yes. Popular band from the summer. Yes. Anybody have it? Um, that's going to be oh, um, two. Uh, Positive? Yeah. Negative two? Negative 12. No. What the heck? How did you get that? Negative 72. Yeah. Kamabotsky. Negative 72. Okay, guys, this is multiplication. You're not adding. Wait, wait, negative 14. So you're multiplying it all together. So guys, look at this. What's a negative times a negative? Positive. Positive. So that's a nine times negative two times four. Let's do this one next. What's nine times negative two? Negative 18. 
You multiply that by four and you get negative 72. Okay, there is a better way to do this. Um, what happens when you multiply two negatives together? Get a positive. Okay, and then what happens when you multiply that answer times another negative? You don't. It goes back to negative, right? Do you see the pattern here? What happens when you multiply three negatives together? You don't. Okay, it, it's a positive. No. Nope. It's a number? Negative. When you multiply two negatives together, it's a positive. But three negatives means that positive number times another negative. Oh, two wrongs don't make a right. So that will go back to negative. Okay, tell me what happens when you multiply 53 negative numbers together? Uh, a lot. Yeah, no, so you get negative, not negative 53, it's negative 50, it could be 53 random numbers, like negative it's seven, positive. negative 28, negative. So what happens when you multiply 53 negative numbers together? It becomes a positive number. No, it be, it's still negative. How did I know that? Because it's an odd number. Odd number of negatives. Okay, odd number of negatives. Because you have the answer No, I do have that, but I'm still smart. Okay, so what happens if you multiply 428 negative numbers together? A lot of stuff. Positive 428. It's not 428. It's just that's how many numbers you're multiplying together. That's what I, I said. Numbers. <laughs> I said numbers. Is your answer going to be positive or negative when you multiply 428 negative numbers together? Positive. Why? Because it's an even number of negative numbers. Okay. Now, this positive has no effect, right? When you multiply. Um, this negative number times the positive number, it just stays negative. So it's about the number of negatives. So here's what you can do. You don't have to do this. Okay, negative three times negative three. Oh, well, three times three is nine, but negative times negative is positive, so it's positive. Okay, positive nine times negative two. Okay, nine times two is 18, but a positive times a negative is negative. Wait, was nine positive or negative? Oh, it is negative. Okay, negative eight. You don't have to do that. Forget about the positive and negatives. Figure out if your answer is going to be positive or negative first. No. This is going to be negative because there's three negatives. Now just ignore the negative sign and multiply nine times eight, which is 72. So negative 72. All right, you ready? So far, Ben, Austin, there's 571 words on the board so far, and I'm not done for the next oh, board. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Whoa, whoa. Hey, watch your language. Sorry. I'm not you. weak. Yeah, okay. Hey, Google. Okay, free problem set. Bet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bet. Are they all multi -clad? That's why I have a solutions manual. You don't need a calculator. <laughs> yes, yeah, we do. do. There's a thousand. No. You don't need a calculator. Yes, really. Why is there a semicolon? Oh, that's a cold time. Okay. One million. <laughs> Let me show it to you. Can't say it. Can't I say want it. to share it. So, is it that? No. Wow. What the? What the? That's garbage. That's garbage. Yeah, Mr. Flash, this is incorrect. That's right. No way. What do you get? What you get? Oh, that's what I got. Wait, show me. This correct? 
Yep. Let's go. No, actually, that's not right. Actually, it's the opposite of right. Yeah, so why is it the opposite of right, Ben? Wait, is it this? Because I did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's only one number that's the opposite of right. That's correct. I mean, I got an answer, but it's yeah. right. I got it. Uh, not quite. Very close, really close, but not quite. I literally just like mess up the entire equation. Okay. It's the flat. You know? Is it that? The negative version. Yep. How do you know right away if this answer is positive or negative? How many times? Negative. Yeah, it's not negative. Why not, Xavier? Because there's six. Six <laughs> negatives. Yeah, because there's six negatives. Not so funny. There's an odd number of negatives. That's right. So there's, you another one? there's an even number of negatives, guys. So your answer is going to be positive. Guys, listen to me. No, yeah, that's, those are so junior hires. Okay. Um, hey, literally what we're doing. Literally. Because you say literally. Um, there are six <laughs> negative numbers multiplied together. Listen. That's an even number of negative numbers. So you get positive. Now ignore the negatives and you can multiply. We just did this. This was 72 times four. Well, 72 times four is 288. And then you're multiplying by a 10 and then a thousand. So I'm gonna add four more zeros to 288. One, two, three, four. So you can do this without a calculator. No. You have to be as smart, smart as Mr. Black. So, no, Which he has like 500 IQ. So. Mr. Black, do I do another one? It's impossible, though. So be as smart as Mr. Black. Yes. Another one, please. No, Austin does. Please, another one, because Austin needs more. Wait, yeah, Austin, 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 Austin really needs that. that. We need to Guys, let's vote on another one. We didn't put a max. I'm going to vote against that. <laughs> Another <laughs> one. Okay, guys, we've got one more lesson, and then we're done. Can we do another one? For the spring. Big. Spring lesson. Help me. we got to do another one. With what? <laughs> another one. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do. Uh is we are going to put all of what we've learned about sign numbers together. And we're going to evaluate expressions with sign numbers. Austin's back. <laughs> what? OK, you guys ready? See if you can do this. Nathan is stupid. OK, somebody want a free problem set? Yeah. OK, so Austin. You can still do this. If Austin gets it first, I'm going to oh. still give him flag tags. If Austin gets it first, take a free problem to the wave. Thanks. Fact. Don't leave No, not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ready, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that oh, no. Are the parentheses around the ones that are, uh, and I've already calculated, I'm not going to get it. What? Are the parentheses around the ones that are negative? No, you don't. Austin. What do you mean the Stop parentheses it. around? Because there's a minus three minus. I know, but that's, if there were parentheses around it, that'd be multiplying. You're oh, subtracting okay. three. Okay. No problem. Nope. Let's go. How did you ask? Okay. Can I see the can I see the Um if that didn't make much sense. Negative. It's reflect. This is correct. Yeah, it's not. Oh eraser. What the heck? I know what I do. Do I get a free problem set? You do. Problem set. No. Do I get a thingy? <laughs> if I get it, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Oh, well, you get one point, right? I don't have a negative flag. Is this correct? My calculator yeah. doesn't do negative. Yo, I got it before Nathan. So. All right, Nathan, I'm going to give you a flag attack point. 
Anyone else have an answer? I have an answer. I have an answer. My calculator doesn't do negatives. What? It does. No. I can't put in the sure. sign. Let me see. Okay. Uh, what do we do first? You do the two parentheses. Two times yeah. Four. yeah. Okay. Parentheses, but the parentheses. There's nothing going on inside the parentheses, but they're next to other parentheses. So we do multiplication before we do subtraction, right? So we have to do this first and this first, right? Okay, what's this? Uh, negative eight. Negative eight. Still minus three minus, well, what's negative three times negative six? Positive 18. Positive 18. That's what I said. That's what I got. Okay, so now we've got subtraction. How do you subtract sign numbers? How do you subtract sign numbers? You don't. You don't. So what do we? How do we fix this? You cross out the uh, negative eight and you cross out the minus three. Okay, you can negative if you wanted nine. to, but then it would be a plus negative eight, which is still negative eight. So when it's just if it's just a negative sign by itself, then leave it alone. But if you're subtracting, this is plus negative three, right? And then this is plus negative eighteen. So these are all negatives. They're all going to get together and party. Fact. How many people are in the house? Um, nobody. No, no, there's just, 26. Those are just numbers. There's Sorry. literally nobody in the house. Negative 29. That's what I said. They're all outside. Okay. That's what I said. So, 26. 29. Maybe you did outside. say that a while ago. I said it negative 29. He did say that. I did say that. Yeah, I can. Your vouch. calculator said negative fifteen. No, he said. And I redid it, and I got twenty nine. Good yeah, job. Good job. So do I get a coupon? So that, no. I'll give you a coupon. Give you a coupon. Oh, I mean, if you're telling me the truth. I am telling you the truth. So All right, I believe you. 100%. Okay, you guys ready for another free problem set? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You are need a calculator. Okay, so calculator guys. Do you see how this could be dangerous on a calculator? Yes. Because if you just do this on a calculator, your calculator doesn't know when to, okay, wait, so you're subtracting three minus six, minus negative six. And then if you hit enter there, you're going to mess it up. It's got to be that. So you might need to use parentheses. So on a calculator, I would put parentheses around that and maybe parentheses around that just in case. I don't know. You literally just do it all in one. Or you could just do it. It's faster to just do most of that, that first step in your head, and then put this in a calculator. Okay? Go, go, go. All right, here's another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's really helpful. Okay, now like I'm going to give you X and I'm going to give you Y. Okay, good. I'm going to give you X and Y, so you just need to plug in X for X, whatever I give you for X, and whatever I give you for Y. Oh, shoot. X equals negative 2. Y equals negative 4. Oh, uh, well, why? Uh, uh, no, keep working. What? Hold up, wait. calculate. Oh, is it? It's difficult on a calculator if you're not careful. I would write it out on paper. Figure out what you're doing first. I got it wrong. Got it. I got it. I got, I got, I got the same answer. It's, 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 it's wrong, but uh, it's totally that. that. You get it, Henry? Okay, let me try this again. I believe I have the incorrect answer. What about this? Mr. Flag. Mr. Flag, is this right? Hey, Mr. Flag. Mr. Flag, I got it. Is this right? Henry, did you get it right? No. No. Mr. Flag, Mr. Flag. Anyone else have it? Oh, yeah. No. Nope. Bro, are you freaking? Okay, guys. Hold up, don't tell me. Do not trust your calculator on this. <laughs> Write it out. Okay. This, what's negative x? Negative, hold up, hold up. Negative two. Negative negative two. Got a positive two. Right? Because negative x is negative two. So the only thing I'm replacing here, everything else stays the same. The only thing I'm replacing is the x. Look at this. This X is a negative two, and I would put it in parentheses. So here, move a little bit to your left, right. 
So what I would do is put all your, when you plug in stuff, put them in parentheses. So negative, negative two, My calculus. minus, what's X again? What's X? What's X? No. Bro, what? Negative two, There's and no then way. Y is negative four. Zero. Nope. So now that it's written down, now follow the order of operations. Oh, 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 I got one, I got one, I got one. Nope. Oh. So you're multiplied. You multiplied uh, everything together. Don't multiply everything together. No. Nope. Why, Luigi? So see how you can't even trust your calculator anymore, can you? What if you can't cut it? Check your calculator. How are you oh. going to get any math done? Well, you got to use follow the rules of order of operations first before you can use your calculator. No, I actually got negative sixteen. Let me No. Let's go. Oh, I got this is No. Oh, hey guys, Mr. Black, it's just the answer. <laughs> All right, guys. No, please, no, no. All right, we're gonna walk through this together. Oh. Did everybody get this answer? We're gonna walk this walk through this together so you can see how Ben got the right answer. Wait, ben got it. Yes. Okay. Now watch. Do what do you do first? What do you do first? Oh, uh, you do the chicken stuff. So do you guys, do you got the, I didn't do any math here, guys. <laughs> the only thing I did was replace x with parenthesis negative two. Shh. Listen, and I replaced y with parenthesis negative four. Okay, now once you get here, you can do this. Don't let your calculator do this. Your calculator doesn't need to do this. You do it. So what do you do first? What do you do first? Uh, chicken scratch. Chicken stuff. You can chicken scratch, but chicken scratch happens when you subtract. Are you ready for subtraction yet? No, 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 no you're not. I'm not emotionally ready. So do multiplication first. That's what you do first. What's look up here? What's negative two times negative four? Eight. Positive eight. Right. A negative times a negative is a positive eight. So here's your subtraction now. Well, first of all, what's negative negative two? Two. Two. This is positive positive two. So that becomes a two. So oh, it's six. Minus six. Eight. Why is it six? I got it. Oh, wait, I, I, got, I got that too. I what? meant, I, I got it and you go, that's wrong. I got negative 16. No, and that's why I came over and I was like, is this right? And he just goes, he just turns around. <laughs> that's because I said that's wrong because he said it was wrong to mine. I, no, I didn't say it was wrong. I said, are you just guessing? Is what I just said. And you said yes. So I couldn't well, get that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one more chance. Yeah. Are you ready for one more chance? I, 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 no. yes. Don't be too quick. Don't be so quick on your calculator. I'm, I'm going to be quick on my calculator. Ben doesn't no, there's problems. nothing wrong. I didn't get a free problem set. I got one point. Oh, okay, cool. Do you guys need a calculator to multiply two times four? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. No, yes. you don't. Don't be poopies. Okay. <laughs> what is it? I actually had to do four plus four. Two I understand four. that you are. Too complex. Oh, Here we go, guys. Last chance. Yeah. So sit on that for a what second. I'm going to give you X and I'm going to give you A. Ready? No, for sure. For sure, dog. For sure, dog. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, okay. This is easy. I'm just going to put it in here. Sure about I that. I did it in my head. I think I got it wrong, but. Yeah. Let's go. What'd you get? I can tell you. Yeah, I think Actually, I got it wrong. Yeah. I need a free yeah. Okay, good. I got it first. Okay. Do I get one more point for that? Yep. Yeah, you get a free problem. Ben, I get one point. Ben, yes. Yeah. Yeah, please have me. Good. But why would that help you? 
Wait, so I got the point? That would really take away my three problems. And you wouldn't get one. Nope. <laughs> Austin got it wrong? No way. No way. What? Austin just, you're thinking about it way too hard. Literally. I don't know if Austin's been doing much math lately. He's just Austin is the exact same problem as the last one. It's, it's literally like, yeah. that was easier that one. I, yeah. did, I did the same Just because there's no double negative. Okay, so what do we do first? Uh, I think Xavier, do you want to walk me through it? Black attack? I don't. Okay. <laughs> you don't. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to slap the numbers as place the Okay, place the so thing. I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to leave that negative sign the same. So instead of A, what are you going to put? Two. two. Parentheses two. Correct. Okay, let's do that. So parentheses two minus what's X? Minus three, negative three. So parenthesis negative three, then parenthesis two. Right? Now what do you do first? Uh, chicken scratch. No, you don't want a chicken scratch first. I mean, it's not going to, yeah, if you chicken scratch, it's not going to hurt you, but you chicken scratch when you're subtracting, but you're not ready to subtract yet. So what do you do first? Um, What's your gut tell you? How? <laughs> right. Okay. What's that? Um, Remember the rules? Different sign. What's three times two? Three times fifty-six. So, and a Minus negative six. times a positive is <laughs> of negative. Negative. Six. Okay. Negative so six. now you've got this is negative parenthesis two or just. Two. Negative two, not oh, two, but negative, negative two. two. If there's a negative in there, if A was <laughs> negative two, then be positive two. Hey guys, when I'm talking and you just start talking randomly, don't. Okay. <laughs> okay, now you have a minus negative. What does that mean? Chicken scratch. Chicken scratch. So that means you're going to be adding a change that sign, adding a positive. They're going to fight. You end up with negative four. I accidentally that's, positive four. Positive four. Positive four. Sorry. that's what I did. I accidentally got like a positive Good. two. Positive. Yeah. What? I thought it was a negative two. So I got a flat attack. Yes. Well, I, do. Do. I got it right. So, yep. You get a flat attack. Then gets answer. another flat attack. Wait, how many points do I have? Uh, yeah, start participating, Kayla. Wait, how many points Otherwise, do I have now? You're, you're going to drown in this stuff. Mr. Flat, how many points yep. do I have? Yeah. 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 Um, you have 16, oh, 16 points. What? Try hard. Six way. The heck? Okay. How many, do I have? how many do I have? Any questions, guys? No. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you should do another right, one. Good now. job. Black math Give me some math and I'll give you some flack